talk about some of this to make probably each and every one of you really uncomfortable because that's what we do. <laughs> we are going to discuss about end of life issues and some of the things, the issues that you're going to have, and the affairs and, and concerns that are going to come about during this process. And so what we're talking about is stress that you're going to have to deal with. You're going to have to deal with planning perhaps a, an end of life issue for your, your grandmother or something, dealing with her house issues, maybe check, checking out a nursing home for her, even dealing with funeral issues. And so what we're, we're trying to do with our startup is bring in these service providers and address some of these issues to help decrease the stress. So I'm going to hand it over to my man, Jake. He's going to walk you through what we've done for the product. All right, thank you. Let's switch over here for a quick moment to give you a little mock-up of the prototype website here. So what we recognize is that when people arrive at the site, users uh, arrive at the site, they're coming with all different kinds of life circumstances, they're coming in different emotional states, and that's okay because no matter what their situation, uh, what they're going to encounter first are some stories and some examples of folks that are in similar situations. Uh, we, we feel that that can be pretty diffusing in, in what's otherwise very uncomfortable uh, situations. So I'm going to show you an example of that. Let's just pick one of these um, as an example here. Mother uh, has lost the ability to talk in where I can understand her. Even with that, I mean, I, I think he is uh, approaching this quite courageously. Uh, but when I think about my, my own children, they're going to get this. Could, could well get it. It's a motivating thing for the world. All right, so that's just a, a quick glimpse into the kind of stories that we want to uh, connect people to. And in addition to stories, the other features on the site that are available for them, um, first we've got a checklist here. So that all the steps and considerations and decisions that might need to get made, they don't feel as though they might be leaving something really important out. We've got articles where they get expert advice, there's discussions going on uh, with, with their peers so that they can share support with one another. And uh, a list of local providers for any number of services that uh, support services that they can need. And if this is all still too overwhelming for folks, um, down here they can uh, click to connect directly with a care coach. Um, this is somebody um, that they can connect with on the phone or via a web platform. And this is somebody that can walk them through step by step or can take over some of the responsibility for making these arrangements. Okay, so the, uh, the web that portion of this uh, this venture is about uh, building a brand, building a community, building site traffic. The monetization scheme, at least in V1, is decidedly low-tech and analog. Um, so V1, um, the, the revenue uh, stream we're, we're planning to capture is from that uh, care coach network. So this is a direct-to-consumer service with these care coaches. They're kind of analogs to uh, wedding planners. And, um, so they're going to be a flexible distributed network of former uh, social workers, vet planners, perhaps nurses, uh, perhaps retired folks. And we're going to try and manage this operation to a targeted 30% margin. So here's an initial kind of top-down look at what we think the opportunity might be. There's 2.4 million deaths every year in the U.S. And our research indicates pretty conservatively that we can count on about 20% of those situations having somebody going online to look for support or resources. And of that, we think that after uh, some brand building, some smart SEO, we can drop about 10% of that traffic uh, to last chapter. And about 5% of the folks that visit are going to opt for the uh, care coach paid, serve, paid premium service. So a uh, uh, pricing structure that reflects about 10% of what their total cost, uh, their total expenditure is going to be on end of life uh, services. We project us about an annual revenue of about 2.4 million at 30%. That's a, a contribution margin of about 720000 the first year. Um, and this is just the, uh, the first of several um, revenue streams that we've explored. There's also enhanced vendor listings, affiliate sponsorships. And really, ultimately, the exit strategy here is to sell this to somebody like AARP or Group Health or another large player in this space. So uh, during this uh, weekend venture, we, we, we pivoted a couple times thanks to the uh, business coaches telling us their model kind of blew up. So, uh, what we thought initially was going to be doing a listing provider, but we took the same model and 10 seconds, and we decided to use kind of the marriage counselor model. And it makes sense and it's being in use everywhere. 